All right, so I haven't seen. So I'm actually kind of surprised before I get into Leonidas. I actually know people actually don't really search minor projects that much. I mean, I could tell just by looking at the view count. So the only way to really boost it is to have those projects, uh, you know, retweet my video. Uh, which is a real shame because minor projects are actually much better than uh, Titanoforks at the moment. But you know, that's just how people are. You know, they just, you know, they just search what they know, right? So uh, that's too bad. That's too bad. That's why I have to rely on all of you to spread my videos around. You know, so maybe I don't know. Maybe I could try to figure out like different keywords to rank for. Oh well. So anyway, a while back I was looking at Leonidas just for content uh, purposes, and then I kind of just kind of forgot about them because I was like, okay, these guys like taking forever to launch, so whatever. But uh, anyway, again, there's a reason why I don't want to really just invest in anything anymore right because this is exactly what happens right i mean you just look at this chart <laughs> right and honestly they're not rug pulling because or it's very unlikely because they've been out for nine days now so all right so anyway so i look at this they have this annoying oh there is the side scrolling thing so from what i can tell they're really just not much different from you know, any Seifu uh, type, because this is obviously a Seifu style type of project. Uh, I guess I could, do they have a white paper? I mean, I guess I could look at if the APR goes down. Uh, okay. So does this go down? Oh, God. Uh, okay. All right, so it looks like this thing actually does not go down. You know, the treasury, manual buybacks, liquidity buying, blah, blah, blah. Okay, tokenomics and accountability. 14% uh, buy, 16% sell, tax, safety measures, liquidity law, KYC, multi-sig, uh, no minting function, so that's good. Uh, this is just how to buy it. Roadmap. Okay, so these guys actually look like they're just going to leave it at this forever. Uh, which is actually pretty nuts, but, you know, that could be, uh, people might really like that. Alright, so it looks like they don't actually, alright, just just from looking at this, they it, it doesn't go down. So, so you actually get... 383,026% yearly APY basically forever. And this is on AVAX, right? Yeah, it's on AVAX. So, okay, so they're going to have a lot of dumping pressure, that's for sure. All right, so they make things a little bit different. So according to this, I actually cannot stand this green because it makes it very hard to read this. Oh, okay, if I highlight it, I can read it. I mean, it looks nice. Uh, okay, we're going to have to read... This is... Uh, Hopefully you don't mind the I rape too much. Liquidity node, auto compounding, smart coin, double, double, okay. Liquidity node, lock your LP forever as a node to ROI in 7 to 15 days. Huh, okay. X Leo, yielding rebase APY plus the buyback APR. Profit generation, part trading fees, and the treasury profit generation distributed to protocol participants by staking XLEO. All right. So they're trying to, like, manipulate the tokenomics a little bit here. So, okay, that's fine. Hi, auto compiling. Okay, at whatever this rate is. Uh, liquidity node yearly return. The fixed staking APY. Okay, all right. I kind of don't understand what the hell I'm reading, which is actually a problem. Leonidas is the native token with the rebase for every token automatically receives the 383,000 yearly fee. Users can earn more Leonidas tokens with really high rate of return by providing liquidity and locking it in forever. All right, that's what I was reading, thus bootstrapping more liquidity for the protocol. So it's like a pseudo way of uh bur burning your leonidas tokens but you but you lock but instead you lock it and quote unquote burn it into the liquidity pool forever income generation pool 
uh, accumulates the trading fees, and then we distribute it back supposedly to the holders of Leonidas. That's actually good if they do that. Of course, the fire pits 2.5% on every transaction, I assume. Uh, Leo Treasury, and of course, uh, they will supposedly reinvest their treasury. Here's their slippage. Hmm. And that's kind of it. So let me math this out. If you burn your liquidity, I mean, I guess that's like okay, but I mean, that really kind of just delays the inevitable is the problem. Because what happens is, you're when you when you stake your liquidity into this, right? That means you have to have Leonidas and Avax. This says wrapped Avax, but it's really just probably Avax. Right, what'll happen is basically you're gonna have to hope that whatever your rewards are, you're then gonna dump it and get back the AVEX. So let me think about that. So ultimately the AVAX will leave, but the Leonidas will stay stuck in here. Uh I mean it sounds good on, on paper. That prints forever. And that's the thing, like you're just gonna be printing a lot, and according to this, you get your money back after seven to fifteen days. So with well, APY this high, I mean, you're just going to have a lot of dumping pressure. I mean, I'm not even going to look at this because obviously this was just the pig sale thing. Wow, they didn't even max out. That's interesting. Okay, next milestone for a rate of return boost. TVL, blah, blah. Leo has earned Leo AVAX stake. So basically, if I lock my liquidity in Leo AVAX into here, I can then earn Leonidas apparently here. Okay. And obviously, yeah. So, yeah, it's exactly what we're seeing here. You lock in here, you get Leonidas back, and you just dump it back in to try to get back your AVAX. So, um <laughs> it's kind of that's kind of a issue there. All right, let's see. What is this? I mean, I do have to admit they do have a pretty nice nifty website, so that definitely helps them out a lot. If you extend your lock, second APR boost will only apply to the second lock amount. For example, if you lock for blah blah blah, blah not a lot of people are doing this. Okay, two percent deposit fees to burn ex Leo. So. Your XLR also accruing value rebase and buyback. Okay, so I guess I have if I somehow earn X Leo, right, which was talked about here, I then can claim I can also drain more AVAX. Okay, got it. Not bad. I assume this is the Ethereum version of AVAX. And then if you want Ethereum, you can do X Leo instead. Again, the TVL is pretty low. Alright, alright. So they have some pretty complicated stuff. It looks pretty all right. I mean, ultimately, I think it doesn't really matter. Wait, why is... Ultimately, I don't think it really matters because, obviously, it's got. It's ultimately going to have the same problem as every other Titano fork, right? I mean, I mean, now that Sphere is like kind of like consolidating right now, right? And they're way ahead of the curve. What what happens with every with every other type of project, right? Jesse Eckel dropped his you know anti Titano. Video now the entire Titano community and the devs are really pissed off and they really hate Sphere too. I think I wouldn't be surprised if Titano was the ones behind trying to deplatform Sphere by you know uh, dump uh, shitting on their domain right and then you know Sim already got it back so it's no big deal. But again that's actually why I just removed Titano because you can't trust anyone that is angry right that's like that's really the problem. All right, Titan should be taking inspiration and be glad that Sphere is there instead of viewing them as an enemy. All right, remember a long time ago that I might have mentioned Eris Finance? I probably saw the video on my YouTube for that. Have those guys ever launched? All right, one of the reasons why is because they were in the Elite Discord <coughs> and then they were angry and complaining both in the Sphere chat and in the Elite Discord in front of Sim, funny enough about how the original original whitelist you know was sold out blah blah i was able to get in just fine in fact i could have done the full four thousand dollars right the maximum limit had i actually had four thousand dollars at the time i wish i did because you know i would be uh, i would definitely be top 50 wallet in sphere right now right instead uh i don't want to reveal it but i'm not there but i'm, I'm kind of like within a viewing distance of it i'll, I'll tell you that much so 
so that's a problem with Titano, and that's really because like I look at because I remember yeah I look at a lot of different things, but I also look at the people right and the community. Right? There's a reason why I don't want my community, at least in this YouTube channel, to actually, you know, I don't want you to actually, that, there's a reason why I don't like complaints, because it's not so much the complaints, which, you know, yeah, I get annoying, but it's really the emotional anger and, like, stupidity that comes with it, because I really do not want that, because that just, that literally just does nothing but harm everyone, right? And now that, like, election season's coming up, people are trying to kill each other due to, like, I don't even want to say the words, but... Like, they're trying to kill each other, all right? Using using cops to do it, too. Like, which is why I don't like cops in the first place. So, I don't know. If I ever become strong... Well, I definitely will be strong and influential. I will definitely, you know, put the kibosh on, like, abusive police behavior. That's that's for sure. Of course, I'll have to figure out how to deal with the crime. That's that's the problem. But I'm, sh I'm a smart guy. I'm sure I'll figure it out. And obviously, I'm not going to do it alone, so... Uh, but with that being said, you can check out Leonidas. I honestly will pass. Um, I mean, it's nice to have very high APY, but again, I rather just do minor projects. Because uh, again, I just don't want to deal with this anymore. Like, look, like I don't want to deal with this. Usually, you know, you, it's the reverse. You know, it goes, it starts off low and then goes up, but this thing just keeps going down, and it's probably going to keep going down because we've already looked at this like basically you're just delaying the inevitable and everyone's printing a lot of money and then people have a huge incentive to dump because they're locking their tokens in i mean right now the numbers look okay but i mean i've seen like a million of these i know what's going to happen so and i look at this and there's literally nothing new no nfts no whatevers and i mean they're going to have to find new people to invest money in so to pay back the old people. So what does that sound like, you know? Uh, but with that being said, you know, obviously, yeah, I mean, they have minimal, I mean, you can't see it, but they have a Twitter, a Discord, and a Medium. I mean, I still prefer Discord over Telegram. So anyway, you can check it out, this out if you want it. I mean, they do have a fancy website. Personally, I'm like, whatever. And um, I don't know, I'll just throw, a, throw this out here. Uh, the next video I'll do will be Outback Finance. Renzo actually did a video on it uh, a few, quite a, like last week. It should have launched yesterday. In fact, we can just check right now. Oh, it's right here actually. Outback Finance. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Are you still not launched yet? Seriously? Public pre-sales tomorrow, April 14th. Okay, so are you guys even launched? Private oil list, public pre-sale. They are on Spooky Swap. Are you serious? You're still not fucking launched. Yeah, I'll connect. Yeah, I know because I'm on Avalanche. All right. Well, they already did the thing. Okay, so these guys still have not launched yet. Like, seriously? How about their Twitter? Maybe they, their Twitter says something. Alright, so for some reason they're not launched yet. Okay, so we're not doing Outback Finance because there's nothing to cover. So let me see. Jeez, uh, taking, taking forever to launch. So... Okay, you know what? I am going to move up Ticket in Inu because... Because I want to put out four videos today. I don't want to do just three because I have a huge backlog of content. So I kind of want to whatever. All right. So let's see. Leonidas is out apparently. I wrote Murdoch DeFi. Okay. So I don't know if I mentioned it, but yeah, Murdoch DeFi. Yeah, I probably did. Yeah. So Murdoch DeFi covered this project already. So yeah, that's where I found it from. All right. Cool. So, all right, so that's that. I want you to try to keep these videos short today. I want to eat, I want to exercise, because I'm, because now, because, yeah, it turns out eating cream cheese, that thing makes you very fat. I don't know why. It goes away really quickly after two, three days, and the calories are still very low, but I don't know, it does something to my body that it just makes me, like, literally balloon, right? Like, I one pounds, like 188 pounds, like, what the fuck? You know, I just woke up. So now I'm at 185. By tomorrow, I should be back down to 183, 182, and that's my should be my real weight. And then I gotta slowly get rid of this freaking belly fat. 
I'll see you in the next video. It will be hopefully Ticket Inu. All right, Renzo did a video on that already, so they should be out. So I would like to see some projects launch because we're kind of just got nothing better to do. I mean, I'm sitting pretty. Right? I got my sphere. I got my minor projects. I'm still trying to figure out that stupid, uh, you know, lower APY thing in the minor project, supposedly, but, you know, whatever. But anyway, check out Leonidas Finance. I will personally pass. I just don't want to deal with, uh, deal with it anymore. I mean, Sphere really has upped the game so much. It's like, you know, uh, I don't know. What, what, what's going to happen? All right. Well, I do I can do kind of know what's going to happen, but I think at some point the Sim's going to need to start actually start hiring some bodyguards. I mean, he's still somewhat anonymous. I mean, he is anonymous, yet KYC. So, I don't know. That's the other thing, too. It would actually be a bad idea for Sim to go to my convention, even though he may want to, because then everyone's going to find out who he is, and then they're also going to track him down. You know, we don't we don't want that. That sucks. That's, that means I'll never meet the hero of Sphere. You know? but, that, but that's kind of like Satoshi Nakamoto in a way, too, right? I never met the guy, but I'm, always, I'm eternally grateful for what he did for creating Bitcoin and really creating the one thing that will actually save humanity, right? Literally save us, right? So, at least gave us the tools to try to save humanity, right? So, yeah. And anyway, see you next video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. You know, share the video, blah, blah, blah. I rely on you to grow this channel for me, right? Because, you know, at this point, it's like, yeah, whatever, right? You know. And again, thank you to all the new people coming in. We're actually at 1402 subscribers, so it's actually kind of interesting. All right. Now, eventually, uh, you know, we'll hit 2,000, and then we'll hit 2,500 then 3,000 and so on and so forth. And um, yeah, all right. It's going to be interesting because, you know, we go to my YouTube here, all right. It's going to be kind of nice that after like two years, one, two years, all my videos are just going to be like this, endless projects, <laughs> project after project. It's like, you know, it's going to be kind of cool. You know, this is actually a body of work I could actually be proud of. Like, the one problem with doing political stuff is, you know, I may not necessarily always be proud to show to other people because, you know, I don't want them to, like, pull out a gun and shoot me in the head. <laughs> you know, that's another reason why I kind of just retired, quote-unquote, from politics. So now I have to, you know, so now I eventually will take a more, you know, nicer guy approach to politics, right? Because I want, I'd rather have everyone like me rather than hate me, right? So, also, after seeing how how it went for Trump, it's like, and I don't mean like the whole, you know, him getting screwed over or whatever. Uh, well, actually that did, but you got to look at why that happened from a spiritual point of view. So it's like, yeah, I'm going to avoid that. All right. So yeah. anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm starting to ramble now. Let's see. Like literally I ramble, it feels like 20 seconds, but it actually passes. It adds an additional minute and a half. That's, that's insane. All right. I'm just going to hit the stop record button.